Pioneer League Sports Center. We are excited that the kickoff classic is about to begin. The spring teams have been practicing and they're ready to go. Let's check out the matchups for week one. In our first game, we have the Staten Island Bandits and the Brooklyn Bobcats. That is going to be a 3.30 kickoff at McCombs Dam Park. Great matchup of two teams that are very familiar with each other as they squared off last year. Now, this year could be a lot different because the Brooklyn Bobcats have been working this offseason, getting things ready to go, and making sure that uh, last year is no indication of what their record is going to be this year. We caught up with Mama Bobcat and she let us know that things are definitely changing over there in Bay Ridge. That's all I gotta say. They, we got a lot of guys that are just focused on winning and doing the things that they're supposed to do. It's a complete difference from last year. Their opponent for the first week is the Staten Island Bandits. The Bandits have been putting in work themselves in the this past offseason. They've been practicing very hard during the course of the offseason and are ready to go. As you know, last year they played spring football in the ECFL, and they were pretty successful with that. So they are taking that formula and converted it again this year into the Pioneer Football League Spring Classic. Will that pay dividends? Well, we think so, because they were definitely prepared last season as they made a run for the... Uh, the playoffs uh, last year by being one of the teams to beat the uh, reigning champion Brooklyn Rough Riders in a major upset. Well, let's talk about our second game, the Bronx Colts and the New York Knights. The Colts obviously are trying to get back to the championship game. They have a little bitter, t a bitter taste in their mouth from the championship game in the fall. And the New York Knights, who would love to make waves in the Pioneer Football League in week one. This is a game of two host teams for our tournament. Uh, it should be very interesting to see as the New York Knights have been putting a lot of work in the offseason and they look really strong in practice as their uh, practice over at the graveyard in Franklin K. Lane High School has been going really, really well. We spoke to, to Paul Johnson and he says that he's really pleased with what he's doing. Last year, our 21 and under division had some really good football, and the Spring Classic promises to be a lot of the same. So let's go into depth on this first game a little bit. The Bobcats and the Staten Island Bandits. Well, the Bobcats have made a lot of upgrades in the offseason. We have to see whether, especially earlier on in the game, that the turnover bug doesn't hit them like they did last year. They were close in a lot of games to start, but when they started turning the ball over, that's when things kind of went downhill for them. For Staten Island, they throw the ball extraordinarily well. The question is, will they stick to the thr to throwing the football, or will they go back to the running game? Now, ultimately, what's really going to decide this game is the turnovers. I expect that early on in this thing, especially if the weather's a little bit on the colder end, you're going to see that ball jumble around a little bit. However, these are two teams that have been preparing very well in the offseason, so they may have enough practice behind their belt to eliminate some of those week one mistakes. And the way that the schedule basically works itself out, we wouldn't be surprised if these two teams are vying for a playoff spot or possibly that number one seed. Let's take a, a, a few minutes and, and talk about this Colts game. The Colts and the Knights, very interesting uh, matchup. The Knights, younger guys, more graduating into that 18-21 to 21 division. The Colts have a few of their older guys in the in the more toward the 21 range but they have a lot of guys that are graduating from that 15 to 17 program that are coming up into the 18 to 21 program so I expect that coach Chuck and the boys are gonna be running the ball something something fierce however we do know based on some preseason information that we've seen in uh, some some of our footage here that they do have a wide receiver by the name of Timothy Fears that likes to to put that ball up in the air and uh, likes to, to grab it when 
when it was put up there. So will Coach Chuck and the boys have faith in, in Tim Fears, and will they have their, their quarterback who uh, they had a lot of injuries at the quarterback position last year be able to put the ball up where he can catch it is the is the good good question. So speaking of Timothy Fears, uh, we had a little bit of a challenge over at Cole practice the other day. Uh, the commissioner stopped by for a visit and Timothy Fears challenged him to a field goal contest. Now, as you know, the commission uh, did some, some service in kicking and, and playing uh, football back in college, which was many a millennium ago. However, uh, the old man proved that he still got it, although you will be surprised at the ending of this thing, as uh, the commissioner, who usually uh, wins these type of bets, came up on the short end of the stick. That was a fluke. Bang, bang. What's that? I like the little dip. That's the I'm feeling pressure. I'm about to miss dip. Pressure. Ooh, you you bank those on pressure. Tim for the W. Oh, he's going front. A little dip. Chill, chill, chill. Good, 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 uh-oh, 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 uh -oh. all them time, I've been beating Tim since he was a twinkle in his daddy's eye, this may, <laughs> may be the first time he ever, ever beats me, took off the shoe, took the off boot. the shoe, shoe's coming off, oh, shoe's move coming shoe, off, move the shoe, move the shoe, y'all, don't even need to move the shoe, That's okay, the shoe's there for a reason, the shoe's there for a reason. okay, Put back on the shoe! Put back on the shoe! Put back on the shoe! He's cheating! Put back on the shoe! That's Janikowski right there! Good! Good! Off the bank! It ain't bank right in! It ain't bank right in! So if I miss this, I'm dead. If I miss this, it's over! It's over! Man. Right up in there! Golly. The young buck really got it, man. He's been working. He's been working, man. Good job. Hard Good work, job. man. First time ever. This man has done more laps, more sprints, more push-ups, losing to me, and all types of stuff. You've been working hard, man. Good job. Good job. Welcome to your commission here. Now it's time to get a practice. Commission here, man. <laughs> bang, bang. And, uh, you know, thanks for tuning in, and thank you for the continuous support of Pioneer Football. Again, I'm Commissioner Patterson. Wishing you a good night.